Okay, what is up guys? Renstex TV here. And for this video, I actually have been experimenting and uh, of course researching for an alternative way for now because as you know, you know, um, I think right now there isn't really um, like a way to uh, natively install GMS, especially on newer devices and um, some other devices as well that are not supported with the LZ Play before. So it's gonna be hard. So some of you guys has been looking for, you know, options and some are also using um, like dual space uh, with other as well using, um, you know, virtual machine of Android on your phone like the uh, Vmos Pro and all that. So in this video guys, I'm going to show you um, another way that I have, um, let's say, you know, discovered and it was actually a uh, pretty, you know, hard way to, uh, to know how this is going to be done because this um, app is written in Chinese and I, I cannot see any option to, uh, you know, um, or a way for me to change the settings into the English language language or something like that but you know hey it's there so let me show you how so I have here a zip file it's called our play so, so I will go ahead and link this in the description below so you can download this on your rent so let me extract this first and this is the app I'm gonna install it and so guys, you might be thinking, is, is this a, a safe way to install Google services? And to be honest with you guys, I can't really answer that for now, unless if someone someone has, you know, experience with using this one, or maybe someone who can understand what's going on here. Like if you can see right now, um, there's really nothing that we could understand here. I mean, at least on my end, all right? But here, I'm just going to allow all the permissions it's requesting for. And here, I'm, I'm always um, pushing at the green button. So, so, so far, those are the buttons that appears here. So just keep on pressing them until you'll be on the screen. And here, guys, what I do is I just click on the app. As you can see, there's this Google Play um, icon here which is kind of blurry, okay? So if you click on that, um, but later on, because we have to wait for this to go 100%, so just wait for it. I think for what I understand here, it's trying to install the uh, necessary files for the GMS to run. So here, I'm gonna press this um, Google Play icon. If you don't have that, just press on this plus sign and then search for Google like this and then if you see this icon here click on here and then you will be brought to this page click on this one and then this here which we have a while ago so in this case since we have this option showing here I'm just gonna press this one and then you'll be back on this screen press on the green button and then it will be asking you to sign into your Google account. So I'm gonna sign into one of my Google accounts so I can show you, um, you know, how this works and how we could install the apps and which apps works and also how to launch the apps. Because in this case, guys, um, I cannot figure out yet a way to actually put the uh, app icons to the home screen. So every time I have to launch it, I have to go to this app here and which I will be showing you later. So let me log into my account first. And I tell you guys, you know, it's this this for me is pretty amazing though. You can you can actually, you know, log into your account, use Google Play and install apps like since I have already logged into my account, so you can see here one of my accounts is listed above this Google Play icon. And now I will go to the Google Play icon here. 
so it will launch the Google Play app for me to you know install the applications all right so here so um, one of the applications that I would like to test right away would be the maps since you know this is most of the time um, are the uh, type of apps having problems with you know virtual machines or like virtual space or something like that so let's go ahead and try this one and see if you know if this works really fine using this method as you can see you know all the uh, applications are just showing fine just like on the uh, usual you know um, Google Play app w which is installed via native installation so it's, it just looks like really the same it's just you know Google Play itself so let me open this one and as you can see it automatically uh, shows in Chinese so we'll have to figure out how that you know can be changed or something like that and uh, here let me try to turn on the location settings here all right so here um, as I actually use the uh, the maps you know it works as you can see it works fine and the lo location is accurate as well so pretty much this is a good sign but um, the downside of this one guys is that as, as I mentioned a while ago you know there's no um, app icon that would show on your home screen so you have to go here and find the icon or you know uh, yeah look for the icon here that you can uh, press on so it will launch the app like this one all right there you go or if you don't have the apps showing in there you can actually uh, click back to Google Play I'll just click on that because Again, I, I don't understand what's what's written on here, guys. Okay, I just actually, um, or ba is, this is just based on my um, experimentation <laughs> when I tried this one. So, if you want to do that, you can copy what I'm doing right here. If if you have someone who knows how to read these texts here, that would be great. So, what I'm doing here is that if I don't have the the maps icon there, I just go back to home screen. Uh, of this Google Play Store go here here and then go to installed list so I would see the the app here and then I can click open to launch the app itself so pretty much um, so far all the apps that I'm using um, like essential apps with the Gmail uh, you know YouTube Facebook and all that everything is working fine so I'm I'm still observing actually how this manages the notifications so let me show you with Gmail And I'm not sure what other applications you're using your end guys so if you want to try this try on your own risk okay and then let us know in the comments below so other users would also know what what are the disadvantages and the advantages of using this method so we would know all right installing the Gmail here And I just really hope that there's a way to actually, you know, put a shortcut for
for the uh, app icons to our home screens it will be easier for us to launch with whichever app we would like to but you know it is what it is or if you know better how to operate this um, app here which is the hour play so you can actually help us by you know letting us know in the comments down below and I'm pretty much sure um, more people would want to know especially Huawei users uh, with the latest devices if this is you know one of the best way to really get Google services on our devices so we'll see I'm not sure if it's my internet here. Um, I was able to install Gmail a while ago just fine and really fast. So maybe it's about my connection. Oh, there you go. So I'm gonna launch this app here. All right, as you can see, then I'm gonna do sync now. If it doesn't work here, you can choose the second one. Or maybe not. Maybe it just takes time though. But uh, it was fine a while ago. Hold on. There you go. Let me just relaunch the app here. No, not you, this one. Sorry about that. So I have to go here. Open Gmail. And there you go. All right. So that's it, guys. Um, hopefully, this one has helped you. And, and again, you know, um, whether you use this or not that's going to be totally up to you but based on you know my experience here it's not bad at all uh it's just that it's pretty hard to know exactly what the other features are in here but you know hey it's there so let me know what you think about this guys let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching see ya in my next video peace